Bazaar Ziski, Mad Bart, and Carpenter Savant of Manchester, Montana, feeds the finicky birds. Unlikely that my poems will ever land in some Norton anthology of ornithology, let alone the Guinness Bird Book of World Bon Appetit Records, I want all you Audubon paisanos to hear right now who's the first mad poet to ring shank, spike a fat foot-long, freezer-burn mule deer salami to the icy top of a railroad tie corner post where I distract rambunctious flocks of ravenous magpies squawking happily all winter away from the purple finch English sparrow birdseed feeders. Maybe I'm first also to have realized that even a scavenger clings to certain proprieties and will exercise its right to decline a handout. Once, I placed a frozen block of tofu upon the very same post. No way, not one minuscule peck, like offering menudo, pate, haggis to a vegan. Poor tofu, it didn't even get a second look. A quizzical magpie glance of comical disgust or surprise. I did not know these birds could smell, let alone with tofu at 30 below. I've watched them gobble up a bloated roadkill polecat for brunch under a blacktop softening sun. And so it sat there, through five Chinooks, through spring and summer, until the post, I suppose, osmosis did almost, along with that dangerous duo of mafioso hitmen, Salmonella and his sidekick, Bachi. <laughs> who must have thunk they'd bag a bird or two, but nothing bit the dust, just like nothing bit the tofu. And thus, I must confess, because I'm Catholic and I'm unfulfilled unless I'm bearing guilt, that I prayed very hard for scavenger forgiveness as they laid their beady eyes upon my latest feast and spiel. My name is Paul. I'll be your server this winter. For your delight, our hammered chef has spiked tonight in lieu of our usual alder plank smoked salmon on the menu, frozen chunk of venison sopressa over creosoted post. It's free. I'll be right back to take your order.